when you're dreaming about some cars, that's what comes to me when I see this car. It's passionate. Very chic. It's pure emotion. You just want to drive it. I want to have it. Yeah, I'd love to have that car. The idea of the BMW Zagato Coupe uh, actually came, like many things, more out of two people meeting uh, in a certain setting. And it was a, a couple of years ago, I think, Andrea Zagato and Adrian had a talk about a possible project. What could be a coupe, but with a lot more exclusive or exotic feel to it, something very very unique, very rare. And I think Zagato actually turned out to be the perfect partner uh, for that. When you're a kid and you want to be a designer, Zagato is one of the names that you remember. The Italian design, uh, that's, that's the cars they make you become a designer at the end of the day. The idea behind the car is a very exclusive product, a very exclusive car that speaks some of the, the older, beautiful values of, of automobiles. It's tradition as well. It's tradition and also, interestingly enough, tradition with two houses. What I was hoping, what we were hoping to bring as Zagato to BMW was um, our D some parts of our DNA that would marry BMW DNA and make something extremely extraordinary with very some details that will catch your eyes and you will fall in love with it. When I see beautiful cars, uh, it's just a simply I got shocked. Uh, it's like a bit like an ecstasy. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I want to do the same thing to some other people. We went ahead, step for step. We sort of had almost like a ping pong uh, game where we basically exchanged sketches from side to side and uh, slowly kind of created the character of what the car turned out to be. It has the right balance between this pure emotion, uh, exotic feeling, and you can still recognize that the car is a BMW. I think that's kind of the nice thing. I don't think you can say front is this and rear is that. It's not like that. Obviously, I'm not objective, but I think that's why it's so successful, because it really is like a, a symbiosis of both. The kidney is one of the parts that I like as an, as an icon, because it's very recognizable. Because nowadays, most cars, sometimes when you don't read the logo, you say, what is it? And that's not good. Where the BMW, you can tell. From far, even if you don't read the logo, that it is a BMW. And that's why I put a lot of Z's in the kidney. This car is all handmade. Every little detail was done with the hands, and I would say with the passion of our craftsmanships. Every piece, as well as the hood of the car, was all hand-beaten. Was all hand-beaten by people who've been doing this since they were little boys. So at the end, the aluminium comes out perfect.
the paintings, which uh, is a very difficult paint, very, very difficult. There are many layers to create this paint, which will, will give this the idea of like a Coca-Cola can just brought out of the fridge. I was actually very surprised first time I knew there are so many colors existing to, to paint the car. Uh, it's not like uh, 72 colors or 144 colors, it's a thousand, thousand colors. The red color is uh, passion. It's, uh, it's a color of passion with a lot of personality. With the red, it also has a, a bit of orange tint to it, which is also a tradition of BMW and Zagato. The red will bring out all the details and all the curves to an extreme. It's such a gratifying thing to see it happen, to actually see it in 3D. And in this case was, I think, all the more rewarding because it was a project where we were a few of us thinking about it. And a few of us sort of, we almost molded this vision together. And then, you know, there were times where we weren't really too sure what, what was going to happen. Like, uh, you know, the student takes some important exam. A lot of preparation to get a good score. But nobody knows. <laughs> it's like a baby, yeah. It's it's always in your stomach, you don't see it, and then comes the burst and it's here, it has its face, it has its movement, its uh, mimic, you can't touch it. And uh, this is always something very, very exciting. I'm probably like uh, you know, a cook cook in the kitchen. This car is probably in a long time the first car that has created me uh, some sleepless nights which means that I am particularly attached to this project so I really hope that uh, people will love it as much as I do. Yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs>